Good morning. <laughs> How you doing? Not bad for me, baby. Still breathing. Still kicking. Sorry, I need to get the the angle correct. My production value, right? How you doing today? I was just listen to, listening to a great song. Um, Robert Palmer. Takes every kind of people. I think that's the name of the song. That's a steel drum. It's really cool. Look it up. It's a very beautiful song about people coming together and not being about hate or whatever. Just about love. Focusing on caring. Loving each other. And making sure everybody has a home. I'm thinking about my situation. I mean, I'm blessed with what I have. At the same time, it could be taken away quick. Especially by the law if I I'm not compliant, so I gotta figure that out. I gotta slowly crawl back up to Oregon and get it smogged. Unless I can call them and see if I can just do it down here somewhere. I don't know how Oregon's working, but it's cheap to smog, but it just every apparently every year. California I think it's every other year. So I wasn't expecting not to go back up there. But I gotta go see my grand maybe see my granddaughter and get her really good hugs. I'm excited about that. So it's kinda like a uh I'm not really pissed about it, it's just finances, right? So I'm going to go to Quartzsite and shine my happy ass up and see if I can't make some sales, right? Here comes some people that were hanging out. This couple over here, they have like motorcycles, they have um, Harleys. You can hear it. Listen to some country music. This is an interesting place out here. I'm going to kind of pan out. It's a Sonoran Desert on Highway 8. That's so cool. Freedom, baby. You gotta love it. And I was in that shop the other day, yesterday, and that guy was being a prick. He was, he, cause the thing was, another guy walked in with a handkerchief on his face, and the guy didn't say shit to him. But of course, you know, I don't know if he knew the guy or the guy was his light skinned. You'd be surprised how much racism goes around. And I've told you, I've been, I've experienced my whole life. I'm every fucking color, especially in the summer. I get really dark, and in the winter, I'm, I'm Scottish and. And people are jerks of every creed and color and race and so I don't buy into that shit. Individually take responsibility for your bullshit and love and light and we're all gonna be good. That's all I got to say about that. But uh, what to do? I'm gonna change my oil today because that's important. Gotta keep my go running. And um apologize for the for the last video. I was getting a little I'm going to say raunchy because was, I was trying to be cute. Cheeky, that's the word. But anyway. <sighs> so quartzite, see if I can't shine my happy ass up like I was going to say before the parade came through. Um, yeah, sell my art, see, make some money so I can slowly crawl north. Because basically, the important thing is gas. And so I can get there and then, of course, I have to pay for all the insurance and registration and stuff. It is what it is. It's just another adventure to, you know, things they have to do, chores. But I'm free, baby. I'm except for that. I mean, literally, this is my life. Finding spots to camp for free. Surviving on canned food, which I have no problem with. God bless me, right? And just traveling around and trying to keep my rig legal so I don't get in trouble. So if I do get knocked on a the window, they just tell me to kick out rocks instead of... You know, where's your, because that dude was straight up, he, first to yes, on license registration and proof of insurance, I was like, yeah, that's not, that's not happening. But he was, like I said, he was really cool. And, I mean, I like I said, I wasn't expecting to have to do smog it twice in a row. That's stupid. I mean, I would love to say something about that with the, you know, with DMV nationally. I mean, if you smog your vehicle and it passes, why the hell should you have to do it every year? Shouldn't that mean your your car is pretty much clean? Maybe one every five years. It's just a money thing, man. I'm telling you. Just like that ticket I got in Colorado. It was four points on my license because it was 20 miles over the speed limit. And it was a trap, dude. Because it was, it was 65, 45, 65, 45. That kind of bullshit, right? So anyway, um, the reason why I say it was bullshit because, I mean, the officer was great. Not a problem with him. But he did say if you pay within 20 days, 
you know, two points will be taken off of the... So if two points get taken off because of money, then how serious was the violation? That's my, that's my only question, legally. I would have been a great lawyer. I can still brush it. I can still, I can still wear a suit and go in the courtroom and pretend like a motherfucker. I've seen enough shows. I've seen enough movies. Perry Mason, A Few Good Men, you know, A Time to Kill. Great movies, by the way. <clears throat> Excuse me. I love the fire. This is just me rambling. It's my channel. I'm going to do what I want. Just me and you having some quiet time hanging by the fire. In the snor snoring desert. Well, I'm hoping and wishing and praying that you have a wonderful day. And I love you. And God loves you. And the universe is starting to really, really get a crush on you. I told them, you need to back off, universe. Chill. Because hot. you're hot. That's what happens when you're hot. People are going to want to be hanging out with you. They want your number. They're going to want to, you know, go on dates. Have some coffee. Anyway, I'm going to let you go before I get someone's head on fire. Have a wonderful day, and I love you. I know, I'm a flirt. I don't care. It's all good. Send out that love, people, to everybody you know. That's all i got to say. That's how we're going to fight this, with love and light and, and smarts, intelligence. Anyway, I love you. I'm going to let you go.